and welcome to Ternacity Fitness. We will be doing a Tabata style workout for our abs and core today. So we will be working out for a total of 20 minutes. Tabata style means you will be exercising for 20 seconds and then you'll have 10 seconds of rest and you will do eight rounds. We have four different exercises today, but we have different variations of those exercises as we go. As far as equipment, you do not need any big equipment. All you need is a soft surface and some water. And of course, I will be showing you modifications so that beginners and advanced levels can um, participate in this workout. I will do a nice little quick cool down at the end, but no warm up. So if you do need to warm up those bodies, pause this video and go ahead and warm those muscles up. Let's go ahead and get to this workout. Okay, we are gonna be starting our workout down in a tabletop position, meaning on your knees and on your palms. We're gonna go ahead and do a tabletop hover. So pop up on those toes and we're just gonna hover here. If this is too difficult for you, Lock in that core, so pull in tight. Good, and we're just holding. Make sure that back is nice and flat, that neck is in line, and resting. Okay, next we are gonna turn on our booties and get ready for this knee twist. We're gonna bend those knees and we're gonna twist to the left with both knees, straight and to the right. If this is too difficult, put those heels down and twist. Good. Go at a good pace for you. Pull that core in. Good. That back is nice and flat. Nice. And rest. All right. We're going to go ahead and lay on our backs here. And we're going to bring those legs up into a tabletop here. And we're going to kick out. Now, if that's too difficult for you, go ahead and place those Heels down, kick out, and slide those heels, okay? Don't pick up those heels if you're sliding up. Feel those lower abdominals. Good job. And for our last exercise, we're gonna come up to our feet here. And we're gonna go knee to elbows here. So standing knee to elbow, we're gonna go right arm to left knee. Good. Go ahead, if you can't make it that far, that's okay. Pull in that core, lock in that core. Here we go. Just staying on that same side. Find that good pace for you. Good job. Woo. There is our first round, so you will get an additional 20 seconds of rest in between your rounds, so that totals 30 seconds of rest. Great job. We're gonna come back to those exercises. So come down to the ground in that tabletop position. We're doing that same one over again. And then we'll put a little variation into it next round. Here we go on those palms. And go up on those toes. Or you can stay down with those knees, but pull that core in. Lock it in. Good. Make sure that our backs aren't coming up. We're sagging down with our booties out. Slight bend in those elbows. Pull that core, you got this. All right, and we're resting. Here we go, we're coming down to our booties. And we're alternating with those knees, so pulling them in. Again, you can slide with those heels if you need to for a modification. Good, we're going from side to side, alternating here. As those legs extend, you should feel those abs tighten. Woo. Good, feeling those as you turn. Okay, we are coming down to the ground, all the way down, laying down here. Legs are at a tabletop position and we are kicking out. Go. The more force, the harder it is. Remember, you can drop those heels and slide. Slide with those heels. Good. Make sure that back is nice and flat on the ground. Don't arch up. Good. Woo! Okay, and we're coming up. We're going to do that opposite side. So left arm, right knee. 
in with that same side. If you can't meet in the middle with that elbow and knee, that's okay. Go at your pace. Woo! All right. Down with that round. Grab a drink. We're gonna come down to that tabletop position again. We're gonna put a variation into this. So we're gonna go ahead and put some taps into this. So you're gonna hover and tap down with those knees, or if you're staying down with those knees, you're just gonna pop up, okay? Here we go, hover, tap down. Good, nice and controlled with those taps. See, I'm not pounding my knees down. Nice and controlled. Slight bend in those elbows. Back is flat. Yeah, great job. All right, pop it over. Okay, come on with those knees to crunch in. We're just gonna go to the left. So to the left, we're staying to the left. I'm not going to the right. Make sure we come to a centered position and then twist as we coming up. You can slide those heels again. Great job. Nice work. All right, laying flat on the ground here. We're doing some kicks. All right, and we are just kicking with that right, or excuse me, that left. So just kicking with that left. Good, nice and strong with that kick. Remember, you can slide that heel. Good. All right, coming up top. We're gonna mix it up. So we're gonna go toes, toes and fingers, I can't spit it out. Toes and fingers, right arm, left foot, crunch, get that balance. If you can't reach, that's okay. Go to what you can do and find whew, that pace. Good. Woo! Another one down. Great work. You get that extra time. Take some nice, big, deep breaths. And then come down to the floor. We're going back to that hover. We're Going into those taps again. Whether you start down and lift up or start with that hover. Here we go. Back is flat, booty is in line, and tap. 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 Nice and controlled. Pull that core in. You should feel those muscles pulling in towards that belly button. Good. You can do this. Come on, stick with it here. You got it. Nice work, nice work. Come down to that booty. And you guessed it, we're gonna do the, the other side. So here we go to the right. Crunch to the right. Good. Make sure we get centered. And then come to the right. Nice work, nice work. Try not to arch that lower back. Slide those heels, remember? Woo! All right, here we go. Come down to the ground, laying down, and we're taking that right leg. Kick, kick. Great job. Nice and strong, nice and powerful. Remember, you can slide those heels. Woo! As that leg extends, feel it as you are controlling. Coming back. Nice job. We're not done. Come on, come up. All right, opposite side. So left arm to that right leg. Straight, straight, straight. Here we go. Find that good pace. Feel that crunch, crunching in. Great job. Feel that core. You can do it. Nice work. Woo! All right, that was our second second go about with those 
exercises, so you guessed it, we're gonna switch it up with another variation. Coming down to that tabletop. We're gonna come to that tabletop, whether you are on those knees or hovering, and we're gonna extend that leg back, coming in and alternating. Okay, nice and controlled. Here we go. And go. Nice and controlled, good form here. If you need to come down to those knees, that's fine too. If you feel that your back is starting whew, to lapse, come down to those knees. No shame in your game. Here we go. Nice job. All right, down to those booties. We're gonna go back to alternating here. Double leg alternate. Here we go, left, right. Good, remember, you can put those heels, or not, yeah, heels down, sorry. Heels down if you need to. Nice and controlled, we're coming to that center position every time. As we bring those knees in, we are turning and twisting. Woo! All right, come down to the ground here. We're gonna kick out and then do a little hold. So tabletop kick. Hold, and then come back in nice and controlled. Kick, hold, nice and controlled. You can put those heels down, remember, and slide. Remember, we're sliding those heels as we come back in, though. Don't pick them up. Hold, nice job. And we're back up again. Whew. All right, we're gonna go do a combo now. Right arm, left. Leg, so elbow to knee, fingers to toes. Elbow to knee, fingers to toes. Here we go, sticking with the same side here. You got this. So good. Find that pace. You got it, finish it out. Nice. Way to go. Lots of quick talking for me in these. Okay. Take that deep breath. Come back down to that tabletop hover. And we're going with those leg extensions, right? Alternating, I'm gonna start with the opposite one. And here we go. Whether you're hovered or on those knees, nice and controlled. Let that core pull that leg in. Good. Woo! Nice work. All right, coming back down. Alternating from side to side with these knees. And go. Good. Don't let that lower back. Here. So good. Pull with that belly button. 
sure. And if you want to get going quicker this time, go for it. Challenge yourself. Don't arch that back. Keep that lower back nice and flat. Come on, good form here. So good. All right, come down to this box. Woo! We got a nice kick out. And then we're gonna raise those legs. Here we go. So tabletop kick out. Raise those legs up. Tabletop kick out. Raise up. Make those lower abs work. Here we go. Fluid motion. Up. Tabletop. Out. Up. Tabletop. One more. Out. Up. Tabletop. Woo! All right. We're popping up. We're doing the combo with both sides. Start with that right arm, left leg. Crunch, toes, crunch, toes, or I should say elbow, toes, elbow, toes. Here we go. Alternating right arm, left arm, elbow, fingers, right arm. Woo! Sorry, that's a little late. Here we go. Woo! Way to go. Way to move.
into a cow position. Pop that head, mat, neck up. Pop that booty out. Good. Breathe in as we come back to that cat. And exhale as you come to that cow. If you need to wiggle and move those muscles, feel free. This is your practice. This is your stretching. And that's cat. And down to cow. Good job. We're going to sit back on those heels now. And we're going to go ahead and intertwine those fingers. Press forward and up. And we're going to come to the right. So stretching out that left side, those left oblique muscles. If you want, you can go ahead and do a nice little twist as well, getting a deeper stretch. Good, come to center, push up, and to the left. Turn, sorry. And you can go ahead and twist again. Taking nice big deep breaths, coming back to center here. And arch that back. With those fingers still intertwined, arch that back. Good. Let that neck, head and neck fall back. Getting a nice good stretch in that lower back here. Good. Go ahead and release. And you're going to take those knees outward. Okay? Taking those knees outward. Come out straight with those fingers. So kind of into a wider child's pose. Get a nice big stretch for that back. Extend those fingers. And we're gonna come into a nice little puppy pose. So come on those knees, those arms are extended and you're kind of coming up on those forearms more. Push that booty out and up. Good. Go ahead and come up with those hands. We're going to come into a nice, woo, a nice down dog. And pop those knees down back into that tabletop position. We're going to go ahead and take a lying position to end here. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> we're going to lay here. And we're going to kind of make our bodies a nice little candy cane. So come to the left with those arms. Again, stretching out. Really getting those oblique muscles. But also you should feel it more in those transverse abs. Even in those lower. Good. Bring those legs so you're making a half moon. Good. Nice big deep stretch there. All right. Bring center with the legs. We're switching over to the opposite side with those arms. Nice little candy cane here. And with those legs over to that right side. Try to keep that back. Try not to curl over. We want that resistance. release and come up on those arms. Arch that back. Woo. Touch those toes. Bring those arms up. And exhale as you come down. Woo. All right. Way to go today. Thank you so much for joining me here for your ab Tabata workout. Um, I do have a little tidbit for you today. It will be very quick. Um, get out of your comfort zone. We can't make improvements and change if we're always sitting in that comfort zone. I know it's nice and comfy there, but get outside yourself. Do something different that you normally wouldn't do um, that you think would benefit you. I, right now, lately, am getting out of my comfort zone and um, wearing more of like the crop top look, not the full length um, tops. So that I can be proud of myself for working on myself and, and seeing that improvement. So whatever it is for you, get out of that comfort zone so you can grow um, and give yourself confidence. So have a great day.
and I hope to see you next time. Thanks and have a wonderful day.